Alrighty, here we are. The end of the GP road. And Highway Got us some stuck big rigs. A little bit of snow here. Four miles, it gets a lot better, but That's what I heard. yeah, get there first. I went up there empty about half hour ago, okay. uh, but I don't have a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the state will be coming by here soon with a plow truck. Right. Sit tight. You know how you break over the top of the hill, it usually gets better? Yeah. It does. Okay. But this guy here, I don't think can. No, I don't Yeah. No, I don't have anything either. I came up here about an hour ago empty, but you know, I'm not dragging a trailer either, so right. I don't have that resistance. I don't know if. He blocks in his power divider or anything? Nowadays it's hard to tell. No. No, but if you could get around him, you could make it. Just lock in your power divider and keep her steady. And once you break over the top, it lightens up. Yeah. Yep. I gotta come back, so. I think he probably can. Be careful. Yep. from the right the northeast is drifting across there see it blowing pretty good
try to uh, get this can to the yard. I don't even know if I'll be able to get into the landfill this morning. about 35 truck that first truck I don't think he had a whole lot of experience and that's fine you know market guys have been running out here and know how to do the deal you lock them power divider in and just baby it on up through there you'll be fine Be interested to see when we come back here if everybody's cleared out yet. about coming over the hill here where Lovell Lakes is usually on the right there. see some clear skies to the west. So this little squall should be moving out of here, hopefully. curve that I don't care for. It curves to the right and slopes to the right. So it has a tendency to pull you in. I always try to stay on the high side of it. Oh yeah, there's Lovell Lakes right there on the right. down into that embankment. We should have uh, built that up. Alright. I'll be back. 